All right, let's pray. How do we pray hands together? Close your eyes. Very good, Noah. No one knows how to pray. Okay, close your eyes. Close your eyes. All right, let's pray. Lord, thank you for this morning. Thank you that we can come together and learn your word. So we pray, Lord, that you'll bless the teaching this morning and I pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. All right, today. Who remembers last week? I know some of my kids were memorizing the verse last week. Do you remember it? Got to work on your memory verses. <laughs> no, but you were here last week, were you? I think maybe you missed it. Who remembers? Simon, I know you memorized it. Right in your own eyes. Very good. Oh, what is this kid doing? Not listening to mummy. Hey, you don't want to be like that. You don't want to do what's right in your own eyes. You need to listen to mummy. Good morning, Matea. Okay, so who remembers the verse? We're going to read it together. If you memorize it, you can give, have a go. Judges chapter 21, verse 25. In those days, there was no king in Israel. Every man did that which was right in his own eyes. I think, uh, Simon, you memorized it, haven't you? You want to have a go? Judges chapter 21, verse 25. In those days, there was no king in Israel. Every man did that which was right in his own eyes. Very good. Do you want to have a go, Sarah? I know you memorized it. Very good. Wow. I'm impressed. Good work, guys. That was a long one. But see, if you do a little bit of work, easy to memorize. Okay? This week, we are in Ruth. So I won't spend too much time in the story of Ruth, but let's read our verse today. You ready? Ruth chapter 3, verse 11. And now, my daughter, fear not. I will do to thee all that thou requirest. For all the city of my people doth know that thou art a virtuous woman. Oh, I think this one's going to be a bit difficult to memorize, isn't it? But I think you older kids can definitely do it. All right? Ruth, chapter 3, 11. And now, my daughter, fear not. I will do to thee all that thou requirest. For all the city of my people doth know that thou art a virtuous woman. Do you guys remember the story of Ruth? Hey, excuse me, sit quietly. Look, Ava. Ava and Ari sitting quietly. No one has to sit quietly. Okay, sit up, please. Sit up, properly. Good girl. And pay attention. Thank you. We remember the story of Ruth. Hey, put that on properly, please. We remember the story of Ruth. Remember Ruth? She got married to... She was a Moabitess, wasn't she? And then she got married to a son in Israel, and then she went with her mother-in-law, and then there was a famine. And she, when her husband died, she didn't abandon her mother-in-law, she stayed with her. And other things we know about Ruth, remember she was working hard, gleaning behind the reapers, trying to get food for her and her family. And she ended up marrying Boaz. Do you remember? And she went, laid down at his feet. That was kind of weird, he was sleeping in the barn. She went and laid down at his feet. <laughs> and then he ended up buying the right to marry her. So this is a story about Ruth. But what we know about Ruth, look at what he says here. He says, All the city of my people doth know thou art a virtuous woman. So Ruth was a virtuous woman. She had this reputation in all the city. Virtue. That's what we're talking about today. Be a person of virtue. Virtue. Who knows what the word virtue means? If there be any virtue, remember that one? If there be any praise, think on these things. What does virtue mean? Another word for it. Maybe it starts with G. Simon. Hard working. That is a virtue. And when you're virtuous, it means you do good. Isn't it? So you have some good characteristics, you have some good qualities about you, righteous qualities. So we want to be a person of virtue, isn't that right, Mateo? Right? We don't want to be an unvirtuous person, person without virtue. We want to be a person 
with virtue, with good qualities, right? Like paying attention, isn't that right? Girls at the front here? <laughs> okay, be a person of virtue. So we're going to talk about some virtues this morning. What are some good virtues to have? What's one that Ruth had? What do you think it is? Give a hint from the picture. Yanni. Yeah, he's working. How is he working? Is he lazy? No, what is he? What do you think? He's hard working, isn't he? So, we want to be like the ant. You know the Bible has a lot to say about the ant. The Bible actually, I think you guys learned about it recently, didn't you? So, you know, the Bible talks about the ant being hard working and wise, and it says if you're lazy, you should look to the ant. See what the ant is like. Look at this ant. Look how big this rock is. He's pushing it up a hill. He's working hard. So that's one virtue. One virtue is you are hard working. Right? That's one virtue. What's another one? I got, I got five for you this morning. I want you guys to think about it. Be hard working. So are we hard working? <laughs> no? Hey, well, at least you're honest. That's another virtue. Right? But you want to be hard working. Working hard. I don't want to be lazy. Okay? What about this one? What's another good virtue? Sarah, what do you think? Washing the dishes, that's it. So you're helping with the chores around the house. Sometimes you've got to vacuum, sometimes you've got to sweep, sometimes you've got to wash some dishes. You're helping around the house. Your hard work is part of hard working, isn't it? When you do work around the house, that's another good virtue to have. When you help mummy and daddy to work in the house. See, we all do a little bit. It's easier for everybody, isn't it? All right, what's another one? What's this girl doing? What do you think, Abel? Buying some, books. Buying some books? No? Well, it looks like she is at the shops, isn't it? But let's pretend we're inside our room at home. This is the bookshelf. See how neat it is? What do you think she's doing? What do you think? You know? She's getting a book. Well, what's the opposite? She's got the book, she's read it. Now, what is she going to do? Matea. Very good. She's not just going to leave it on the floor. I like the, how specific you are. She's not just going to leave it around the house. She's going to put it back where it belongs. All right, so what is this virtue? This is about being clean and tidy. Neat and tidy. Sometimes when I go into your rooms, guys, not neat and tidy. Toys all over the place. Very messy. But a good virtue is, hey, when you get a toy, isn't that right, girls? Pay attention, you three. Look, hello, hello, hello. <laughs> Once you get a toy, it goes back where it belongs, doesn't it? So we're nice and neat and tidy. All right, that's another virtue. What's another one? What's happening here? You should know this one, Ari. So what happened yesterday at the march. <laughs> the only, what do you think? What do you think the virtue is here? Well, work, walking with somebody younger, but what do you think he's doing? What is he, what is he doing here? Holding her hand, yep. Yeah. So, a bit, bit more. What do you think, Matea? Helping somebody smaller than you, right? Helping somebody younger. So you can see here, I guess maybe he's walking his friend or he's walking his little sister somewhere, making sure that she's protected. Okay, so all, all of us who are bigger, we should be looking after the ones that are smaller than us, shouldn't we? Right? We help protect them and look after them. We don't bully them, do we? So that's another good virtue, to look after those that are younger than you. Okay? What's another one? Oops, last one. So we talked about how we should treat those that are younger than us, smaller than us. I'll tell you, what do you think this one is? Right. Sorry, keep going. Yeah, not teasing them. Hey, yeah, it's a, it's a good one. Do you remember those young kids that teased Elisha? And then he sent some bears after them. <laughs> so yeah, you should read that. Read that one in the Bible, hey? Respect yours. They called him bold head. And then some bears came out of the wolf and tore up the children. So that's trying to teach that we should respect our elders, shouldn't we? So like here, they're helping, but we should respect those that are older than us. 
So we respect them in how we treat them, but we also respect them in how we speak to them, don't we? So the older people in church, not just me, but are the other parents, the way you talk to them. Hey, one good virtue is you need to speak to them with respect. All right, so let's just go over it again quickly. Hard working. Some virtues today. Hard working. What about helping around the house? Hey, helping, doing your part at home. What's this one? Neat and tidy, putting things away, not being messy, right? Making sure things go back where they belong. Looking after those that are smaller and younger than you, weaker than you. And we respect our elders, don't we? We respect those that are older than us and the way we treat them and the way we talk to them. All right, so let's read our memory verse again. Here we go, you remember? Ruth chapter 3, verse 11. And now, my daughter, fear not, I will do to thee all that thou requirest. For all the city of my people doth know that thou art a virtuous woman. All right, so that one, I'll try and I'll have a look at your Bible memorization books today, and maybe we can hand them out today while you guys are doing the craft. Okay, so let's all stand up. We've got a craft for you today. So Katarina's organized a little word search of virtues that we can find. 